welcome, welcome, welcome to Mondo Market TV special day. You're going to see some very cool demos here today. You're going to be in awe and see some nice tools in the process. Before we get started, click on this video that you see right here and share. Share with your friends. It's going to be super cool. You have uh, friends that are artists, that are crafters, that are hobbyists. Yes, share with them right now, right now. Take a second because, you know, really that helps us a lot, but helps your friends as well to know what's going on and about new things because that's what we bring every week. But wait. Wait. What if you need a gift for Christmas and you want someone else to buy it for yeah, you? Yeah. Send to the husband, send to the friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Say, it's not oh, too late. I love this for Christmas. <laughs> right. Oh, honey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you haven't gotten my gift yet, <laughs> be a lamb and get this for me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. So take a second mm -hmm. and, and share that with your friends because really, that matters. That matters a lot. Now, let me explain what's going to happen here. I have here my friend Jody McCraney, Russia, <laughs> the glass art is extraordinaire, and we are going to be talking about mica. She's going to explain to me, especially, what <laughs> mica is. <laughs> what is it good for? And then we are going to have several demos with different things. So don't think that if you're not a glass artist, you cannot use mica because, no, 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 I'm going to show you. If you like to make jewelry, you, you can use mica. If you like resin art, you can use mica. If you like concrete art, you can use mica. And what else? Everything uses mica. <laughs> I didn't know, mica is everywhere. <laughs> so Jody, first of all, yes. welcome to Mondo Market TV. Thank you. And explain to me what mica is. What mica is? Ah, mica is rock. Rock, just rock? No. <laughs> I love it when she does that. I'm a rock hunter. I never <laughs> got mica go in, the, oh. in nature. Oh, okay. Okay. So mica is another name for a rock called muscovite is one of the forms of mica. There are other kinds as well, mm -hmm. but muscovite is the most common one. And when it comes out of the ground, it's a semi-translucent, transparent kind of sheet, and it, it, it flakes easily into thinner sheets. Um, it's used in electronics, it's used in uh, electrical things, it's an insulator, uh, it's used in all these kinds of things. But what we do with it is we take it and we sort it by color and by type, and then we heat it to a very specific temperature based on what piece of mica we have, and that changes the color of the mica, and it makes it beautiful and metallic, um, and then it can be used, we either chop it, or grind it, or flake it, or cut it, or ripple it, <laughs> or, or roll it, or anything you could possibly imagine with it at that point. And I'll show you some examples of colors because it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at this. And, and by the way, guys, if you have questions about Micah, uh, use the, the <laughs> comments or the chat if you have the video open and ask us to us. I'll get here and, we'll do and I'll best. ask Judy. Yeah, we'll do our best. <laughs> the last time I answered a phone. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was awesome. I'm getting there. Right. So okay. this is this is just a plate of um, different colors of mica, and all of these are different types, and they are cooked to a different temperature. And when we say cooked, we're not talking cookies here, baby. We're oh, talking no? like 1600 to 2000 degrees, and every single one is tested at, at every 50 degree temperature increment, so we get the exact perfect color. I always have this image in my head that you are about to go to bed and then you say, I have a kiln. <laughs> but wait. What can I put in the kiln? Very, that, very hot kiln. That actually happens. <laughs> yeah, I know. I say, but I've never put rock salt in the kiln. That's this weekend. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Did it work? <laughs> well, I haven't tried it yet. I'm very excited to, though. So, and the other thing I'm, I have coming up as a test is fiber optic cable. Ooh, in the kiln? In the kiln. Oh, don't call me that day, okay? Okay. I don't want to be there. <laughs> Everything explodes or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it, it will be fun. <laughs> so these are the different uh, so, colors. Right? So these are the different colors. And the colors that we're working with today, we're working with silver, uh, we're working with copper, and with gold. And we're looking at different shapes and different sizes. We have flakes. There's mm -hmm. some copper flakes right there. We have some sheets. And uh, we do have some shapes as well. Yes. Do you want to talk about the Coolio shapes? Yeah, the Look dots, right? Look at these are dots, okay. yes. 
And and do you want and? to tell them the cool thing about the dots? Well, the dots are about uh, are part of our bonus today. Right. So hang on there. We'll talk about it. Right. Yeah. Those are those are cool things. So you said that the mica is a rock. So do you go get, grab your shovel and go to the desert and oh, get yeah. the mica? Yeah. yeah. And then Absolutely. you go home and burn everything. Right. Right. Well, I have a team of seven very short little men. Oh, right. <laughs> that dig it out. No, I'm kidding. The seven dwarves don't really work. For me. No. Um, I actually buy it directly from a mine. Okay. Uh, in in the southeastern of the U.S., so I get gigantic boxes of rocks in the mail, and it's then you very, go burn them. And then I go burn them. I know. I. I it's hard to explain what you do for a living. Sometimes. <laughs> no, my mother is still wondering. <laughs> yeah, mine too. <laughs> That's so cool. So you have several, several colors here. Today we have mm -hmm. three, the copper, the gold, and the silver. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and for artists and crafters, why do, would they use mica at all? Why would they use mica? Um, well, I'll tell you why I use mica. Mica is, um, for glass art, it is coefficiently inert, which means that you can use it with any kind of glass. And because it's been fired at a higher temperature than any kind of glass, you can do anything with it. Oh. You can, you can fuse with it, you can cast with it, you can paint with it, um, all of these really cool things. And of course, some things are better for some uses than others, which is why we're doing demos, mm -hmm. just to give you an idea of what's the best thing to use each kind of mica. Let's show for. some pieces where sure. you have mica. Sure. Okay. Are we going to show glass or resin? Start or? with res, we go. Sure. Oh, she's noodly like that, right? Be she's happy, just noodly like that. Okay, let's look at. Okay. Here's some coasters. And these have punched Ooh. mica leaves in different colors. Look at how pretty those are, right? So this is mica sheet that I've punched out with uh, paper punches. The same people use for scrapbooking, yes, right? Yes, the same people use for scrapbooking. Exactly. You can <laughs> see. This is why you need new punches because, honey, <laughs> I can use them for two different crafts now. Uh -huh. See, it's you're a deal. And I'm using it's them. a bargain, right? So here are some. Here are some of our bonus dots that you can see here. Ooh. These are super cool. Love the dots. Um, here is a candle plate that I made with different sizes of the silver mica. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, that, that is gorgeous. Isn't wow. that nice? So Very this nice. is this is I never do things that only do one thing. I always do multiple things mm -hmm, at the same time, mm -hmm. just like you. So this is not only a gorgeous candle plate, but it also shows me all the different sizes of mica and what they look like. When so you actually dress. create a sampler out of that. I created well a sampler as, a as well as a piece, right? And then this piece I'm particularly excited about. And these are fused glass beads. Oh, those are gorgeous. With mica fused right in them. And can you see how sparkly those are? Yes. And I'm going oh, to yeah. show Look at that. you how to make these. I'm going to show all of you how to so make So we have these. a demo on that. We have a demo -hoo -hoo. on this. Yeah, yes. Lena, Lena Pfeiffer is saying, hi, Lena, thank you for being here. She's asking, what do you do with them? Well, she's showing <laughs> you some stuff that you do with glass. But let's suppose right. that you're not a glass artist. What? Yeah, let's suppose There's some people. Pe there some are people, people in the world. Are not glass artists. No. Yeah. I don't, I don't believe it. <laughs> okay, so here, well. I know you can tell them a lot of things that they can do, but let's show some pieces. Sure. So, for example, showing is way better than telling. Oh yes, this uh, I'm going to show you a lot of jewelry here because they were fast to make and pretty. So, for example, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have to and burn the house. Doing so. A lot. <laughs> so here you see all this background. This is all mica, and then I pour a little bit of resin. And I got this beautiful necklace. I'm actually going to show you how to make one too. Uh, this is one that we are going to make together. So the mountains are actually mica. See? And then I put some wood trees there. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is I, beautiful. I think I, I am so sexy when I use this. You well, if that one doesn't survive the <laughs> demo. Yeah, who Don't knows, right? in my purse for it. <laughs> so I also like to play with polymer clay, so maybe you like to play with polymer clay as well. I made uh, the mushrooms and the fairy door here, or gnome door, and then in the background I put some mica, Aww. and then I 
Look with resin on that, is. see? Isn't, and it gives that glitter. I think one of yeah. the big thing with mica is exactly the shine that it gives, right? It does, and it's got a really great rainbow color deep in the sparkle, so it's not just gold. Mm -hmm. When you look at it closely, it's gold with a rainbow a in rainbow. it. A rainbow, exactly, that's what I like. Super and depending cool. on the high, uh, the, how the light reaches, is a whole different right. thing. Well, we are going to go into our first demo because I know you guys yeah. want the demo. Just want to let you know that we, we are doing our special day. So every day is a special day at Mondo Market TV, but once a week we come <laughs> live, right? And on that day, on that day only, you have the chance to get an amazing product with a huge cut. So today we are having the Mica Madness kit. So what comes in that, in that kit? I'm excited about that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. It's almost irresistible no, no, to you, tell you, you just, things uh, that are not really in it. <laughs> <laughs> like a chocolate cake. No. no. Who wants chocolate if you have mica? <laughs> right. No oh. chocolate cake. Okay. Our Mica Madness kit comes with three different sizes of flakes. Yes. So it comes with coarse, medium, medium and, and fine. fine. And you can choose the color, right? Between right. gold, copper, and silver. And it comes with sheets. The sheets for you, and you're now, going to, to see how to use yes, them? Yes, you can use the sheets. And now is it one color for all of them, right? Yeah, if they okay. choose gold, everything goes gold. Everything goes gold. Okay. okay, good to know. And then it comes with the mica paint kit, which is eight colors of super, super, super fine mica. Like fine, 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 fine oh, mica. Oh, like it's just almost... Fairy dust yes, kind of mica. Yes, fairy dust mica. Mm -hmm. And you mix that with the paint medium, and we're going to do that. Yes, we're, we're going we to do use, that too. Yep, and then you paint with it. Um, and that's very cool. And then it also comes with the dots. The dots. And you're going to bonus. see, she already showed you one piece that she made with that. Yes. And I'm going to make one with those as well. With yeah. And it comes with these fantastic tweezers. This is your best friend and it's yes. actually a bonus. You yes. also have the containers, right, for the paint? Yes, the containers for the paint. It comes with eight tiny containers and they all fit in a tin. And of course, it ships with instructions and firing schedules. Now, I should say the firing schedules are for recycled glass, mm -hmm. but they're easily adaptable to other kinds of glass. Yes, as well. but again, even if you never touch glass in your life, it doesn't matter because right. you're going to use everything to make the piece that you want to right. make. Now, usually this sells for $65. Today, because it's the special day and we are live, you can get for $49.95. And, yeah, no, she said, no. really? No. She said, really? <laughs> it's too low. And I said, no, it's the special day. We have special people. It's going to happen. Okay. And as a bonus, so you get three sizes of flake, you get the sheets, you get the paint, you get the containers for the paint, and as a bonus, you get the best tweezer ever, and you're going to see that in action, and the mic <laughs> Cut dots. So you are going to be saving. So 65 minus 40. Uh, there you have $15. Over the, just here you have another $15. Right. So you're going to save at least $30 and get the whole thing. Isn't that amazing? Can I buy one? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's crazy. I buy from a nice lady that goes to the desert, grab the mic. Right. <laughs> Has a team of very yeah, short men. <laughs> so what's our first demo? Okay, so I thought we would do the beads first. Okay, let's do the beads. So the beads use the large lentil mold kit, which is also on the Mondo Market. Yeah. So if you're not sure where to get that, if you're, Mondo if, Market TV. If com you're is a glass person, go. if yeah. you are a super talented, smart, clever glass person, like all glass people are, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll know where to get the kit. We're not, cons and we're also humble. Yeah, very humble. So very we're humble. Never too tall. Right? No, never. No, no, no. we're sweet. so. What do you open there? Oh well, I'm trying to open my bead release. The bead release. Yes, but my hands are a little slippery. Okay. So explain for the non okay. glass artists what that is. Okay. It's so gooey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that narrows it down. Yeah. <laughs> so bead release is a mixture of ingredients. Um, most of them are also found in ceramics, and what they do, we mix them together. This is my own recipe. It's designed specifically for kiln-formed beads, so not good for lamp work, mm -hmm. but it comes off really easy afterwards, after you make beads. So what you do in the kit ships with the bead release and it ships with 12 mandrels. That's what we call these stainless steel rods that go in the middle of beads, right? And so you dip your mandrel, you can see it's got a nice, gooey coating very on gooey. it. Mm -hmm. Looks like very light milk chocolate. And then we just set this guy aside to dry. But since we didn't want to wait that long, I do have ones already here that are already dry. Mm -hmm. How so long this would is, it dry for? 
Uh, you know, it really depends on the time of year. If it's in the summertime, if I'm making beads in July, it's lickety it split. Okay. Right, but in the winter, sometimes I do put them in front of my heater if I'm uh -huh. in a hurry. But it shouldn't take any longer than a couple hours. So this is what they look like compared. Let's show you. Uh, one Wet. that has just been dipped and one that is dry, right, ready mm -hmm. to go. More okay. white, yeah. More white. And then we have a bead mold, which is this guy right here. So what this is, and this is such a clever thing. I just, every time I use it, I remember how clever I am to have made this. This is one of those things I'm so very proud of. <laughs> hey, <laughs> lady. Oh. And what this does, see this, you put this mandrel in the groove and then you fill these with glass. Uh -huh. And when you fuse it, it makes these wonderful lentil beads. Oh boy. Right, so let me just show you how we do that. Okay. We have... The bead mold now has been kiln washed, and I should mention the bead mold actually does ship with instructions also, mm -hmm. and firing schedule, so you're all set. And we have... So you have that. broken glass from your window the last time um, you the Actually, this is from, it is from a window, it's specialty <laughs> glass. <See? laughs> she gets mad sometimes, I hear that. Her, her daughter Conan that is here no. today says, oh, when she's mad at me, she gets a bottle, there she oh. throws. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, slander. <laughs> that is so not true. She's walking home. <laughs> so I I'm, I'm actually, you know what? <laughs> right. I'm going to use my tweezers for this because. See, I told you. They are I your know. best friend. Right, right. She's Super always tiny, tiny, tiny tweezers. right. I know. Isn't I know. that annoying? Yes. My daughter says it is. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a mom, so yeah. it kind of goes with the territory, right? Guys, Mondo Market TV, today is our special day where we are live, and you're seeing Jody McCraney. I'm going to get there right at some point, someday, some year, right? Someday. Special, amazing <laughs> glass artist. She has a business called Glass with a Past, and she uses recycled glass I to do. make stuff. And that's why we are joking about the window, because she always recycles glass out there, right? Yes. People drop broken glass at her home oh, all day long. Oh, they <laughs> do. Usually, actually, in the middle of the night. Why the middle of the night? I don't know. But I come out in the morning and there will be mystery glass on the driveway. <laughs> See? And then she creates beautiful piece of art here. And we call it the bottle depository because yeah, the bottle <laughs> depository. I, I have one that has big dollar sign, but so far no one has dropped off buckets of cash. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, so once we have some glass in the bottom there, this is where we add the mica. Now, mica has to be encapsulated, or if it's super fine, it can be painted on the surface. But flakes need to actually be encapsulated in the glass. Why? So, Why? What happens if they're well, not? Well, otherwise, it just sit, the mica just sits on the surface of the glass, because we talked about it being inert, right? So it's not going to stick to the glass. It needs to be captured. And that's true if you're going to make other type of crafts with the mica, so with resin. With, with concrete, with polymer clay, it will have to be encapsulated or, as well or it will start peeling off and you yes, don't want that in your final piece. Because it's super thin layers. Yes. And so those layers, the bottom layer may stick, but then um, it will. So here I have some beautiful copper mm. flakes. Look how pretty those are. I this love is the, the copper. It's my oh, favorite. Mm. It, oh, yeah. Silver is the best. Mm, I like copper better. I like silver. Okay. Uh -huh. Fine. Uh -huh. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you you grab some of this with your scissors or your tweezers. <laughs> <laughs> See, and you told me about me uh -huh. answering the phone on the train. Hey, I'm tired. All right, <laughs> <laughs> and lay it in here. So you're just putting some. I'm just mica. putting some on top of the glass that's already there because mm -hmm. what we want is to have all that glass fuse down and encapsulate the mica. Right. And of course, you can mix colors here, mm -hmm. um, and I would encourage that because that's always lovely. More sparkle is always good. Yes. Okay, then we're adding our mantra. There's not enough bling in the world. We there need is more. not enough. That is true, mm -hmm. actually. Okay. So once you have that on there, then you add more glass, but only about halfway because I want to add another layer of mica on top. And to make this broken glass, I just put this stuff in a Ziploc bag and whacked on it with a hammer. <laughs> it's very cathartic. <laughs> if you're having a bad week, which sometimes happens, uh -huh. you can just... They, they say today is the day that everything shifts. 
because it's the solstice. It's just the solstice. So we are leaving the dark side behind and bringing you bling, and brightness, I and light. Hope so. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Now we'll add more. More mica. More There's mica. Never There's mica. never enough mica. So see, now when somebody, uh, one of your neighbors throws a ball in your window and it breaks, you know what you're <laughs> going to do? You're going to say, thank you. Come back no, more often. No, you're not. Because <laughs> you say, oh, jewelry making, jewelry making. <laughs> do you know how much jewelry you can make with one window? I have no clue because Acres. I haven't tried. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Start a whole business doing that. Right? You'd have to. That's one of the things when people first start out that is a little tricky. You start with all this beautiful glass, right? You start mm -hmm. all of a sudden then, and I've only heard this, <laughs> suddenly you have 50 five-gallon buckets full of broken glass on your driveway. Oh, boy. And oh, boy. No idea what you're going to do I with hope your all. husband likes glass. Oh. <laughs> My husband is a sweetheart. That's good. He um, he smiles and nods, and then he went and got EMT training just in case. <laughs> just so now you feel again now with I'm feeling glass again, right? to encapsulate just, the mic. Yes, I'm just topping off. Just make sure you have glass on. Okay, but then, but wait, that's not the magic part. <laughs> Believe it or not. Mm. Okay, then you fire these to a full fuse, and what happens is when they they fuse down into the mold. Uh, this is what you get afterwards. So let me show you. This is the fused version. This one has gold or, yep, this one has, let me see, is that copper? Actually, that one's copper. That's copper. So I, accidentally, like copper I accidentally made Shahar's favorite color. <laughs> and this one has silver. Okay. So once you have those, then you can easily just twist Pull them. Pull that away. Mm -hmm. And you have the beads. And you have the beads. Sometimes you have to do a little filing with them. Don't be afraid of cold work, mm -hmm. right? That's what we do. If it's tough, you can just give it a little twist. Twist. Okay. Can you right. put it in water? Absolutely. You can soak it. And, and if it's really stubborn, you can put it in water with a little bit of vinegar um, because the vinegar will make the um, bead release break down quickly. Mm -hmm. And you have to be smarter than the average bead, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no. So... On our kit, we have three, in this one you use flakes, no, or sheets, yes, flakes. Yes, we use flakes. So we have three containers with one ounce each of fine coarse well, and, and well, medium. How many? One gram each, right? Or one gram each. An yes, exactly. Is, it's different. Yeah. It is different. I'm a foreigner. I didn't get it. <laughs> I don't think it announces. I'm okay, so how many pieces would they be able to make with oh, that? Oh, gosh. Um... Oh, I'm going to say conservatively, let's see, we poured, this was a one gram envelope and mm -hmm. we poured it in here and look how much we used and how you much is left. So more, I yeah. think you could probably make 50 to 75 beads with that. Wow. With just, just the one size uh -huh. of mica. Oh, just one, with just one. The, just with one so container. You, so you see that it goes a very it long goes way, a right? very long ways. Yes. So yes. now, Jody, let's, I can clean. Let's switch places. I'm going to do my demo. Wow. No I, one I ever says, no one ever to says to me, demo. I can clean. I can clean. I can clean. Get out of the way. I'm going to clean. Gosh. Yes, Mother. That's magical. Clean, Mother. That's a magical <laughs> thing to say to someone. It, I, I want to show my beautiful Well, I know. Broom here. Okay. I, I talk too much, right? No, you don't. I just, I like to be right hey. here. Hey. So. <laughs> I, want to, I want you to understand that, like I said, the mica allows you to many, 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 many different types of pieces. Glass is one of them, right? right. Jody has a large audience of uh, glass artists, and they are always looking for more and more demos, right? But I know more some of projects. them are not glass artists. So no, that's true. I want to show you how to make a very quick, astonishing <laughs> necklace. <laughs> which one? Which one? Oh, look, just like the one I'm wearing today. See, it's, uh, it's also the same technique. Oh, look at and those. It has the mic. All right. I call them the Yellowstone series. Beautiful. Yellowstone is my favorite place in the world. And I thought, okay, what can I make that uh, represents what I like and use the mic? And it was, oh, I created, I don't know, you can see here, tons of pieces with that. Actually, not only me, uh, Nashla does concrete jewelry. Right. Right. Beautiful so, concrete jewelry. So, uh, 
so, some of the pieces, that, that, there's one that is gorgeous. Let's find that one, the big one over there. Ah. This is one that she did with uh, two colors of mica. Okay, she still needs to finish and make into a necklace. Look at this one. This one has concrete and, and the resin. So what she oh. did was add a base of white concrete, right. then add the mica. Look how oh. pretty this is. Look wow. at the shine, right? And then uh, to cover with resin. Right, so it's encapsulated. Right. So uh, it's really almost right. any medium that you use, you will be able to incorporate the mica. Isn't that great? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is and only today because the special day, 49 95 three cups or uh, three containers <laughs> not cups three containers <laughs> with containers. Uh, flakes and you are going to have the medium the fine and the coarse then you get the sheets of mica the mica paint which is quite unique yes. i mean really this stuff you don't find anywhere no truth, no right? i make it all you, you make yeah, it all so it, we make it, it in our it's shop. either in mondo market or nowhere right and then you get the <laughs> containers and you, as a bonus because, because it's today you get the magical tweezer and the flea the dots the dots for the mica as well which are, they are super cool only with 49.95 normally just the kit is 65 just a kit and you don't get the bonuses. So you right. know you have to do this today. Okay, so I have here a blank for a, a pendant mm -hmm. and I have a piece of scrapbook paper. It's beautiful. I think it's beautiful too, I love the berries. So <laughs> what, I, what I want to do is create a background first for this. I oh, could okay. make only with mica like I did here, Yeah. right? And it turned out to be beautiful. But sometimes you move the mic or when you're making and you may right. show the, the back, I don't like that. So very simple because you want to get it right the first time. And if you're lazy like me, <laughs> you don't want to have 10,000 <laughs> tools to make something. So I put the, the paper and I did some pressure. So it marks me the inside of the bezel. Mm -hmm. Then I get my thumb. Oh. And I go around because as I go around, it actually cuts the paper. I can use other fingers, whatever finger you have. That is, no, <laughs> because I want to do this way. You get, there you go. And I have my inside cut. It doesn't need to be precise or, or beautifully cut because I am going to put stuff here. I just want, let's throw this away. Uh, I just want some of it. Oh, and you're here. talking about me throwing things. Yeah, I throw yeah, things around. Right. Okay. okay, now, it's, it's <laughs> night in Yellowstone, the wolves are howling. Ah! Now wait, is this the bonus dots? Put them right here so we can see them. I'm using oh, them. Okay, fine. Okay, you know, <laughs> I already have a dot that gives me all this all day. Come on. Now you have two. <laughs> okay, so. So it's night in Yellowstone. You cut my story. Okay. Oh, sorry, I, I ruined the mood. Tell me again, tell it's me again. It's night in Yellowstone, the wolves are howling. <laughs> the bears are sleeping because they don't like to be out at night and you're there fishing the biggest trout ever in case you like to fish I have no idea how to do that so <laughs> we, we look at the sky and we see the moon right this is the moon a dot of mica so I'm going to put there beautiful oh, I love your stories. and then why do I you know I actually sent my, my daughter to cat, catch the fish because I really don't fish and at night I don't think that's very sexy either but while she does that I'm there roasting marshmallows by the fire. Ew. You don't like marshmallows? I don't What's like What's wrong with you? I know, right? Don't tell me you don't like chocolate because we'll end I our relationship. I do like right chocolate, here. but I don't like ice cream. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> The, the Jody's Crystal Castle now just is magic. Right. Marshmallow it, is awesome. It was mica anyway. It was okay, never so. crystal. You interrupt my story again. I know. So I'm there <laughs> roasting marshmallows, right? And I, I see the trees, the beautiful pine trees in Yellowstone. They are gorgeous trees. They are, you, you look and you see trees. You look and you see trees. And you see different types of trees, different types of pine. Look, at, look how cute. They are okay. adorable. Aren't they adorable? Yeah. I think they are. Okay, so if we leave like this, of course, it's going to fall and we are not going to have a pendant. So I come with my super duper resin. Okay. This resin here is UV resin, meaning that ah. it cures under a UV light right. or wait for it, wait for it, under the sun. So I can put under the sun for about 10 minutes and the piece will be done. Or I can use a UV light. Since okay. it's winter in Utah, there is no sun. Right. So we and, have to use the UV light. And it's nighttime in your story. Yeah, it's nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> that I really don't have. Well, I will pour some resin and 
I first pour just a little bit. This looks like it is very clear resin. Yeah, it never which, yellows. Which is fantastic now, for jewelry. It is a toxic product, so it's not something that you want to teach grandchildren to, to make. <laughs> and you have to wear a mask if you're going to be to be playing with this for a, for a while because it has a strong smell. It is. Yeah. So take safety precautions first. Here we are doing less than a minute. So it's no biggie. Well, okay, okay. So you see here that the, the resin is really didn't go. I can right. use a brush or my super friend here. Oh, look at that. And, and put. See? Look how clever so you are. I know. Almost as smooth Almost as you. Almost as clever as me. And once I think it's okay, I pour more. And but I can pour to the covering the, the trees or not is a choice. I many times leave mine without covering. But not overflowing, so, yes, so pour that. carefully. Yeah, pour carefully. But you know, even when you put a little bit more than you thought would be nice, it creates a dome here. Which is nice, actually. Yeah. Now, my trees are all swimming <laughs> well, at the moment. Yeah. Oh, let's go for a bath. So cool in Yellowstone. They want to go fishing. And they want to go fishing. Brown trout. Yeah, they better catch their own trout, because if they eat in a restaurant there, they're going to spend a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then it's all covered. I, I think I like the way they are. Do you like that one is tilted or do you need to uh, have... You're an engineer. You like straight lines, I, don't you? I think if it looks... If it's tilted, it looks like it's about to tip over. Yeah. Oh, see, that looks fantastic. You know the one, one rule in nature? Nature abhor straight lines. If you look, they're oh, really not... that is not, true. Yeah. That is okay, true. now I have a UV light, a 12 watt one, which is quite powerful. And oh I turn goodness. it on and in about a minute or two, it's done. That's all you need to do. How many can you create in one hour? Think about this. I get all my trees ready. <laughs> I, put, I, I put a sound of a wolf or something in the right. background. Sometimes some a whale. Water because, noises. Yeah. And some water noises. Some water noises. That's cool. Right. And, and I make a bunch of them and I pour resin and uh, I put them on the tree. Just four one at, at a time. time. And that's it. I thought you were asking me personally. I was like, uh, I don't know. I don't you make don't glass. Make, don't make glass. <laughs> I thought it was a quiz. <laughs> this is a very quick example of one thing that yeah. you can do with Mike, especially if you like to play with resin or you want to play with resin, right? But like I said, you can play with concrete. You can play with polymer clay and use Mike. Actually, in polymer clay, you can make amazing pieces with that. If you make canes and stuff. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. Right. So we're moving again. I'll take this with me. Okay. So you can do your... My thing. My thing. I'm going to leave this for one or two minutes only. And after she's done with the next one, I'll show you how it is. And it's, it's, it's looking good. It's looking good. The imperfections. And you want a forest for Yeah, you. please bring my forest back. <laughs> we, we need more forest. I'm going to keep this in this tiny little bag. Right. We do need more so forest. So while she gets ready for the next tutorial, for the next demo, don't forget that today is the special day. So today only, you can get the Micah Madness kit for only $49.95. This is... Really just a fancy dinner, if you think, but the, the dinner doesn't last. And this, you're going to make hundreds of pieces with that. And you get the dots and the magic tweezer all together just for $49.95. All you have to do is go to mondomarkettv.com and get your kit right now. What are we going to be making now? We are going to be using the paint next. Okay. And I'm not going to tell you what we're making oh. because... I want you to have to wait. Oh boy. I know, mm -hmm. right? I'm an anxious person. I'm teaching her patience. I, I gain weight. Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> so we're using the Mica paint kit, which you can see right up here on the front. Okay, all these bags. How many, how many bags we have there? We have eight. We have eight, eight bags colors. in the kit for $49.95. That's amazing. We have eight little containers right here, and we have the tin that they come in, and of course, we also have the instructions. Um, that ship with it because I am a huge fan of instructions. So people so can we have get that. started, right? Right. So what we do with this is you take this little bag. Each little bag has enough for four containers of paint. Wow. So you take a quarter of the bag or a quarter of a teaspoon. It does settle during shipping, so I usually just look at it and say about a quarter of what's in there. Mm -hmm. And you put it in a container. So you have these beautiful little containers like this. Nice. I like little containers. I know, right? <laughs> it makes me feel organized. True. And... Have you ever used, or do you know if the paint can be used with other types of arts other than, than glass? Yes, you can use... Um, 
You can use the same mica and you can mix it with acrylic paint if you like. Ooh. And then you can paint with it. Um, you don't want to fire acrylic paint in the kiln, of course, but mm -hmm. you can just paint with it. Um, it's, it makes a beautiful shine in acrylic paint as well. So then I like to mix mine with just liquid hairspray. And I just buy an uh, inexpensive but reliable brand so that I know it's the same formula every time. So it will mix. And then... So this is what it will look like after you put it together. Okay. And it does settle because mica is microfine, so it settles right out. So I usually just mix it up with my paintbrush, like so. Oh. And give it a quick swirl every time I paint. Now this is just tinted window glass. See that bronze window glass? It's a square. It's the edge has been finished, so it's ready to, to use. And I'm going to paint here. Polka dots. Ooh. Mm, it was an itsy bitsy yellow then. <laughs> teeny weeny. <laughs> right, itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka, polka dot. dot. I knew the polka dot was there. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was someplace. <laughs> right? Oh, this girl. Okay. So when you paint with this mica on here, you want to get a nice layer, and these also can be mixed. Did I tell you you can mix colors on these? Mm, so really? Can, yeah. Mica paint with mica paint? Yes. Good. So you can mix uh, some gold with some copper and make a uh, rose gold. Because you rose know, gold. rose gold is huge rose right gold. now. Pentatonix, they have a song called Rose Gold. Oh, I, I, and he goes, Rose Gold. I recognized Pentatonix, yeah, right? Good, As you good, started I love them. singing it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm painting polka dots on here. So this, the paint kit comes with two different kinds of mica. It comes with four metallic colors. It comes with gold, silver, copper, and a dark red, metallic red color called russet and I think it's in you there. can see it right on <laughs> yeah, there on the kit. Um, and then it also comes with what I call ice colors and these are their uh, color shift mm, are you impressed that's fancy that's fancy mm. so what that means yeah, I'm is a glass artist. I, go, I use I, color I shift, use color shift. <laughs> my <laughs> color <laughs> shift. <laughs> oh you're not a good influence on me oh no all right so the color shift, what that means is it looks like it's milky going on. Oh, what a beautiful necklace you're wearing. Uh, isn't it? <laughs> I was is wondering. that complete and, 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 and resin and mica? Right? Wow. I just picked it up somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> on my way here. I was wondering how long it would take you to notice. Oh, forever. <laughs> <laughs> so can you see on here, I'm painting this on, and there's a, if you look kind at it from an angle, tint. there's a greenish, bluish oh. tint, right? So uh -huh. it goes on looking milky like this. And this is about how thick you want it. You want a nice coat, but a nice not coat too to cover the glass. Thick, right? Okay. Right. And then once we get all of our polka dots painted on, as many as we like, what we need is this is a small floral former mold. Wow. And what that means is you use it to make vases and votives uh -huh. and things like that. When can and people get that? This particular one, you can usually get them at a glass supply place or. or you can get them at the thrift store very frequently for about a dollar. <laughs> oh! So it does need to be kiln washed. This guy's a little well-traveled. Mm -hmm. But then you balance him on here, and then you fire it to a slump temperature. Okay. Right? Right? And what do you get? What do you get? Are you, sh are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'm so ready. Oh! oh! But so the way that this works is it comes out of the kiln upside down. Oh, that one's got a little sticker on it. Let me peel him off. Yeah, don't show the price. Don't show the price. <laughs> Then people will want to buy it. Yeah. And I'll have to make more. That means work. Okay. So it folds down just wow. like that. Just it's, like that? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Wow. Just like that. And huh. then when you take it off, you have your polka Beautiful. dots. Now so a little bit of the mica is going to wash off because okay. only the mica that's closest to the surface of the glass. And you remember we're using paint. Paint is the only kind of mica that can go on the surface. Everything else has to be capped. Capped. But that's, there you go. Wow, that's, that's Easy, wow. Easy, squeezy. So the other thing, uh -huh. but wait. There's more. There's more. I don't know if you can see this or not. But I painted this edge of the, the votive with mica also. Uh -huh. So it's got a little bit of a purple sheen to Ooh, it there. Look at that. Look at that. So you can just spice that guy right up. Mm -hmm. Look at that. 
And this works particularly well on the darker tinted glasses. Mm -hmm. um, if you really want it to stick well, you can etch the glass or sand it or make it rough somehow, and then it really grabs that mica. That's, that's fantastic. That's super now, so you showed an example of fusing the, the mica paint. Now, let's suppose I'm a lamp work artist. Can I use this paint at all or um, not? I would test it because yes, test it. I'm a big tester, but um, I, I test everyone's patience mostly. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? That's what my daughter said. <laughs> uh, up to here with you. <laughs> So um, you would need to just work out the pr correct amount that you'd want to put on. Okay. But yes, you, but you could, could use you it could do for use. sure. You just I need to can't see. It could be super with interesting that. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Look yeah. what I did. Oh, it's always about you. I, of course. <laughs> <laughs> By now, you should have noticed. But here I have my uh, mix with um, with acrylic paint oh. and plus some flakes. Oh, look at you. You're going to see. It's beautiful. It, it shines a lot. It is really pretty. Oh, here. Oh, there we go. See? It looks like a little moon. And you see the, the, that shiny glitter? Right. Yeah, it's so, so cool. So is your resin done yet? My resin is totally done, my hey, friend. Let me see. Can't touch. Wow. Whoa. Like two minutes. That is really cool. It is really cool because the normal, and, and there are very good uh, types of resin out right. there, but they have to cure for 24 hours, yeah, right? Which least. is okay in many pieces, you want that. Well, but when you're working with pendants, and let's face it, if you're thinking about giving during Christmas or, right. or, or selling in bazaars, right. and, well, you want something that you can make several at the, oh, right. look at this. Look how pretty. Totally the transparent, thing I white. Find, when I use the, poor, the regular resin, the uh -huh. 24 hour cure, invariably I knock it and spill them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they stick to the plate, they stick yeah. to the table. This is fantastic. Well, if, if it happens to spill anywhere, acetone, pure acetone takes oh, everything takes out. out. Okay. Yeah, so it's very so it's easy. And you can right. put a, another, how do you say, another top that has a small... Oh, right, right. Yeah. Uh, yes, a reducing More top. More control thing. Yes, mm -hmm. that's great. Isn't that great? Yes. I, I think it's fantastic. Now, I, again... I think you're edging ahead in the, in the clever race here. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I think so. This is amazing. Don't tell her. I already <laughs> crossed the line. <laughs> I crossed the line. Yes. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I, I, I know one thing. I don't know one song, the correct words of those. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll make yeah. it up together. You know, you know that song, uh, the British song, that I'm Harry the Eight, I am yes. Harry the Eight, I am. Henry the Eighth, you mean? Yeah, something. <laughs> I, I, I know I, the main phrase, I had it totally wrong, wrong for years. And then one day I was singing to a friend and she said, that's not what he says. I said, no, it is. I've been singing this for many, many years. It's not what That's he says. Not, it's uh, okay. No, but today is a special day at mondomarkettv.com, and we are featuring Mica Madness, all the things that you can make with Mica, which is a very unique product because you don't find anywhere because this beautiful lady is here with us at curiousmondotv.com. And the kit for today contains three containers of one gram each of mica flakes, one fine, one coarse, one medium. We have the sheets of mica as well, which is going to be the next demo, yes, correct? Mm -hmm. And uh, the eight different colors of mica paint with mm -hmm. the containers. You think containers are very crucial when you're working. You don't have the right one, they don't last, you don't want that. Right. So we thought, no, 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 no. People need to get this kit and get going. They don't need to go anywhere, buy anything because we don't want to stop your creativity. That's important. We need more beautiful things in the world and you can make them with your head. <laughs> with your head and with your hands, with both of them together. Now, not only, this only uh, usually goes for $65. Today is only $49.95 and comes with two bonuses. The super tweezer and the mica dots. Right. Only today if you order and all you have to do is go to mondomarkettv.com or send to your husband, to your wife, to your <laughs> friend and say, honey, Really? You didn't get anything for me? <laughs> we are so close now. Here's the link, right? And, and it's a deal. It's a deal. It's, it's a super such a deal. deal right? What are you making there? A pile. Yeah. You're good <laughs> at that. You, you, should, you should see my other room here with show this stuff. So, I just like the dots. I like them stacked. Yeah. I like them together. They make I just like 70s. Great, the right? 70s had a lot of dots. Hey, the 70s were a special time. I know. All right.
We were wild. Your daughter looks we were at wild. you. I was she, born she thinks she's in the wild the one. 70s. I say, you have no clue, baby. <laughs> I was born there. Uh, funny. Okay, I'm going to put some of these away. Okay. All right. Let's look at some mica sheets. Okay. Oh, you know what? These are so pretty. I'm just going to. I'm going to leave them out so I can look at them. Uh huh. Because yeah, I'm like that. Let me put my UV light here. All right. Oh, I didn't tell people. That not only they can get, no, it's the age thing. I forget half of what I have to say. But not only you can get the Mica Madness kit today and get the bonus as a part of it. So you're, you're saving really a lot of money in this process. For those that are interested in UV resin or the UV light, only today, because today is a special day, you can get the 10% off. So you don't want to let that out. So mondomarkettv.com is the place where you get the mica, where you get the UV resin and the UV light, all at a discounted price. And that's what we do every week, the special day where we feature a tool, again, with your plate. I love paper plates. <laughs> and in fact, this is not just a paper plate. This is a vintage paper plate. Do you see this name on it here? Uh -huh. This plate was originally used seven years ago when I was an artist in residence at a grade school. Wow. And I have reused it constantly since then. <laughs> wow. So, so don't, don't yeah, mock my I, plate. No, I don't, I don't. I've been in this relationship with this plate longer <laughs> than with long you. <laughs> <laughs> so let's make, should we make some jewelry? Well, it's up to you. Yeah, people right. love the jewelry. People love the jewelry. So what I have here is a window glass. Surprise! <laughs> right? So this, you, if you look at this sheet of window glass, you'll see it's got some paint around the edge. I'm just going to cut that off because I don't know where it came from. Uh, and I just don't really want to mess with it. So we'll cut that guy off. I know I'm a little out of the... Do you need more room there? No. I'm... Are you sure? No. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You're cramping my style here, lady. <laughs> okay. Okay. What we're going to do is make this glass smaller. I don't need more room. I need less glass. Less glass. Right? It's always so easy when you make. It's, yes, <laughs> it's practice. Okay. So what I, I really like, I really like pendants, obviously, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but this one is the one I want to show you. And this one has two different colors of mica sheet oh, in it, let's, let's see. right? Can you see how pretty that is? It's got that, they're oh, stacked up. Oh, look at that. Right. And it's That's almost like a pretty. silver foil on a gold foil uh -huh. look. Beautiful, so this beautiful, uses beautiful. the silver and the copper. So we're just going to I'm going to quickly, and these are all, these are as, these are as fast as her resin, <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Then we have to fuse them, which takes a long time, but making them is as fast as your resin. So what I need is two rectangles that are the same size. Okay. All of that work just for those two little hmm. rectangles. Hmm. Crazy, huh? If okay. you run out of windows, you probably have a neighbor of six or seven year old called Billy. You say, Billy, come here, don't play football near the window. Actually, <laughs> I don't. That's just a vicious rumor. All right. Don't listen to my neighbors. I actually have very patient. They broke a record, no number of broken windows, right? Right. <laughs> well, we had all of our windows replaced in our house, and that gave me a large mm. number. Uh, okay. Here we go. So I like to start with the base first, and that would be the square of copper. So here's a, a piece of copper, mm -hmm. sheet mica right here, and we'll cut it into the size that we want. Now, mica is, does get a little flaky. I know some of you will understand that. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna cut it over a container to catch the extra. Because you can use everything, you right? You can use Nothing all goes of, right? I'm a, I was going to say hoarder, but I like to say I'm frugal instead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen to her. Mm -hmm. All right. So once we have this now, if you look at that edge, can you see that edge? It's Let's a see. little puffy. See oh, that? Look at that? Look at that. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Uh -huh. So what we do here, this is the cool part. You look at that mica kit and you go, there's two sheets of mica yeah, in there. Enough. Maybe it's there's expensive. three. We take my scary knife. Yeah. And it's scary because the backside is rusty, but we'll just be really careful. And look at this. Oh, gosh. 
I flake that into sheets. And if you have mild OCD like I do, this is very satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right and it didn't break. Right, and even if it does break, see how these some of these did? That's okay. Mm -hmm. You can stack them back up or you can use them for a different project. So you don't lose anything and it goes a long, don't long lose way. lose anything. I use all of it. Okay. So just as an example, now that one square has, is in four different layers. But we'll use one of the layers here. So when we do this, we do need to leave a margin around the edge of the mica so that the glass can fuse down over the edge and encapsulate it. Ta-da! Well, that was easy. Look at that. <laughs> but that's true for any other type of a crafts that you're going to use mica. So for right. example, we, we did a test actually. Did you? Uh, <laughs> not me, not, I got everything right. But when Nashla was doing hers, uh, she also put mica all around. So she had a base of concrete and she put the mica and she popped the resin. When oh. we demoted three different pieces. Yes. Right, so that is true. Right. You need to leave space so the material can adhere. Right, or it will just, the mica flakes. And you think that you've got it down to one layer and then it flakes again. So what I have here is a little Puncher from a your scrapbooking, scrapbooking obsession. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, that's it. <laughs> My obsession with misusing scrapbooking equipment. <laughs> tools, yeah. Right. So I'm going to just squeeze that. I was hoping to do it upside down so you could see, but there we go. Mm, beautiful. There's my, wait, Leaf, where's my the tweezers? Tea, yeah, the super friendly tweezer. My super friendly tweezers. Now, this guy can also be flaked into more Ooh. pieces if you like. That's dangerous. I live uh. dangerously. Nice, mm -hmm. you did it. I did it. And then you can add that right to uh -huh. your goal. Now, that being said, what if we add one of the dots? Well, what if we instead of the rectangle? Wow. What if we do? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. And see, this is my version of Yellowstone. Ta-da! Maybe we should have a little contest to see, <laughs> to see whose pendant is cooler. Now, I don't know. I need to actually fuse in a loop to hang it with because, um, because I can't just add a bezel that has a loop. I have to make my own. Okay. So I'm using some nichrome wire here. Which is the wire that glass artists use all the time. Right, which is a fireproof wire. And for smaller gauges, you can bend it around something to make the loop and see. You can there you go, like the tweezer again. The tweezer again. Look at what a nice oh, loop that makes, see? Beautiful. Okay. We glue, we throw it first. Always throw it just to see what will happen. And then we can use, to glue it, you can use either your liquid hairspray if you want, or you can use white school glue Hmm, just that? Just that. Um, whoa! And apparently, lots of it. <laughs> okay, here we go. And then add that right on the top. Ta -da. And while she does that, guys, if you have any questions for Jody, just now use the, the chat beside the video or below the video in the comments. To right. ask Jody, and I'll be happy to, okay. to ask her. So after you have these stacked up, I actually like to let them dry. They're much easier to move to the kiln. Okay. Right. So, so you will leave an hour or so, like yeah, 11, 20 just, minutes? Right. And then you just put that right in the kiln oh. and fuse it to a full fuse. Uh -huh. Ta-da. Ta-da. Let's, let's show the final piece again here in the middle. It. Can you? Da -da 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 -da. There you go. Ta-da. How beautiful is that? Right. So simple. So simple. So let me show you. I did another one just with the dots because I knew you'd want to see that. Okay. But here's some. This mm. is again your '70s mm. easy style, right? Just the dots. Let me see here. Let's get the camera really close to this one. Okay. So this is a finished piece. Right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me here's see. Another one. That one has a little bubble in it, but I actually dig bubbles, so okay. I don't mind. 
There we go. Look how pretty. Right. Uh, 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 uh. And from the top, let's show all of them together. Look, oh, how pretty. Look at there. Aren't they nice? Yeah, and you uh, can make this geez. just by getting all this. Oop, 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 oop. Let's Tiny. fix that. All uh, right. By getting the mica madness kit. Again, you get three containers with mica flakes. You choose the color, gold, copper, or silver. They come with one gram either uh, each. One fine, one medium, one coarse. Then you get two sheets of mica, the same color that you chose the containers. Eight different colors of mica paint, and this mica paint you can use in other crafts as well. And all the containers, yeah. ooh, just ooh. for forty nine ninety five, and as a bonus, just today because it is the special day, MondoMarketTV.com special day, you will get the friendly tweezer and the dots and you saw that you can create amazing things with the dots as well right they're right. all silver silver correct or i uh, know they're a mix so we have so they are a mix so you get are, the other yep. colors as well that that is a great thing yeah not only that you cannot get this anywhere else because nope. like i said jody wakes up in the wee hours of the day <laughs> gets a, sho a shovel go to the desert get the mica then she comes back and she fires right that's right <laughs> and then that's say, right. hello everybody let's start the day <laughs> and i show up and i look like i've been working in the mine all night. I know. <laughs> and then you, you have all your cats. You're a cat lady, a crazy I cat lady, right? I am a cat right? lady, yes, indeed. Yeah. How many do you have? I have four. Four cats. Four cats. I made a cat Aww. with Micah. Aww. Oh, yeah, you can Look. show. And that's my Christmas gift for you. Oh. oh. Look at emotional. All right. Look at this cute guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a cute little guy. Resin. I, I colored with him. some acrylic paint. The resin right there. Right. Put it there. UV light. Look at the that. mica and it's ready. It's so cute. And you've cute. added so, a few other details in there. I love it. I have some glass beads that you gave me. Yes. So huh? that's cool. wonderful. Cool. Oh. Hey guys, uh, we have here um Fuse Elegance saying, hi, Jody. Hi, Looking Karen. forward to your next class, which, by the <laughs> way, too. is the second week of January, yeah, right? Second week of Advanced January. Advanced mold making for glass artists. So yes. you cannot miss that one. Then you go to CuriousMondo.com to check it out. Go, uh, Jody is here with us basically every other month. Yes, right? that's correct. So yes, it's amazing what she can teach. Today, she wanted to show you because, you know, this is fruit of a lot of labor and testing. Yes, Right? How long have we, we, I say we because, you know, we text each right. other all day long. Right. Uh, how long have you been testing this until you got uh, to the right colors, the right consistency? It has been, we started this project last March. See? So it's been nearly a year, a year in the testing. testing. Yes, yeah. just to get to the point where we have a reliable supplier and we That have... we can ship and you get consistency. Yes. Yeah, so... Yes. And again, we wanted to bring... Uh, actually, Jody wanted to bring to the market something that you don't find everywhere. Right. But it's extremely useful, not only to her crowd, the glass artist world, but to our other crowds as well. Because every time we get a product here, we keep thinking, okay, what other kind of artists could be using this? Right. Because that's part of the fun. To, to find things in other markets, in other groups that you can adapt to what you're doing, isn't that? <laughs> well, I'm I always fascinated by, like, I, sh I come here and I go, ah, oh, oh, <laughs> resin? Well, but yeah. I never thought of that. <laughs> so I learn new things every time I'm here, which is yeah. And awesome. we have fun testing, too. So we, yes. we always, I love to work working together with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have the right mindset, the right attitude. It's and you, you're always humor, smiling. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. The joke is really bad. Tell oh, the joke you said at the do beginning. Do you want me to tell? <laughs> I do, I do. Okay, ready, ready? What kind of ornaments do reindeers have on their tree? Ornaments. Uh. <laughs> <Oi. laughs> I love terrible jokes. I love it. The jokes are terrible. The artist the is are awesome. Terrible. And the Micah Madness kit is a once in a lifetime opportunity during this oh, special funny. Mondo Market TV day where you can get Three containers, one gram of color of, of a specific color or medium coarse and fine flakes. Right. Two sheets of mica for you to play with. And you see you can use paper punchers, you can use scissors, you can use your fingers, you can use anything. You can ask the, the, the dog to take a bite and then you grab whatever you need. Then eight colors of different paint. Don't start cleaning. Are you cleaning? No. No. Oh, eight I colors of different paint with the containers. $49.95, usually $65, so it's a huge saving. You want that, and you want to give your gift, but you also get two bonuses. The super tweezer, 
and you've seen these are super cool for minor particles and stuff and the dots with the mica dots. so you don't want to miss you just have to go to mondomarkettv.com and get your kit and you know my point here is saying we already have half of them gone so don't wait too long what are you doing this is another scrapbooking tool. Huh? Oh. Look at that. You can crinkle your mica. You can crinkle the mica. Right? Ooh, then it would be another effect that you can give on the glass or whatever you're right. using. Absolutely. Okay, I'm taking this home. I already know what I'm going to do with this. <laughs> Ooh, super cool. Isn't it? So your favorite one is the silver? My favorite one is the silver. Well, which is your favorite one? Silver, copper, or gold? Like I said, you can choose a checkout, which color you you right? want, and you get started. They're going to go crazy over this. So it's silver. Look, I mean, you right? like the, yeah, Look the silver at this. is. The silver. This I use in one of my Yellowstone pieces amazing. because it gives, I mean, it's romantic. Oh. Right? I love it when you talk to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank Sydney you so Houston. much for being with us. Any final words? Oh, what? We're done? Oh, we're really? done. You have oh, more? No. That's all. I just like to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we like to hang out with you as well. We like that you, you come here. Oh, and we have some comments here. Oh. Uh, fuse glass, Alan. It's just, I love the mica. When do you think? Oh, look how I read. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's telling you something. <laughs> I can see. I need better glass. Um, I love the mica. When do you think you do the display class? Tan, 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 tan. Uh, you know what? I think we have it on the calendar, but I, I don't think we do. But yeah, that's the other so problem with we'll, us. We'll we don't read. Yeah, we'll post. <laughs> we will uh, answer that question in the chat after we're off the air. Uh, she's also asking Does the crinkle mica hold shape? Yes. It yes. does. It does flatten out just a little bit, but you do keep the shape, the crinkle on it. In fact, I have. Can I? I'm gonna... Yeah, go, 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 go. Go while I try to find the other go one. Away, go I'm away. I'm not going to answer this one. <laughs> okay. So, okay. can you see this piece right here? That one's crinkled. Oh, look at that. That's crinkled. Yeah, that one's crinkled right there. Crinkled. Right. Yeah, huh. Right. So you can see it does hold. It does flatten out a little bit because, of course, it is soft. So, but yeah, you can. This you is can. a beautiful piece. Do you have more pieces that we didn't show with Micah? Oh, yeah, probably. Probably. Kathy's saying, loving the demo. Just order the kit, UV light, awesome. and some resin. Oh, you good. are going to fall in You know what I do? Uh, You're trying to convert all my artists to resin, aren't you? They, we, we, I don't know one single artist that doesn't play with more than one medium. That's true. Right? I don't they either. They all play. Some of, some of us, we play with everything. Oops, right. so phone call coming. So you, you have to understand, this has so many applications. It does. And most people are not familiar with mica. Right, they, oh, they understand true. mica that comes in the eyeshadow oh, and, and things like that. Don't, don't use this for makeup. This yeah. is industrial <laughs> grade. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> we should mention this that. This is a tool <laughs> that you can use to create more amazing pieces, right? You're right. going to say something about that? No, I was just going to show you the gold crinkle. What about this vase here? Oh, that one is an experimental piece that has... Did it, was it a good experiment or did I it... learned a lot. Okay. <laughs> 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 but it, it has enamels and mica, and it was made with a, a new type of mold that I, I'm testing for our class coming oh, up. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. yeah, we are always testing yeah. the new stuff for another class, right? but look how cool. It's, 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 it's right. And these are dots, just like it comes in the mm -hmm. bonus. Right, so think about yeah. all the things that you can create out there. Really, your imagination is the only limit here because if you deal with glass, fantastic. And, uh, I mean, if you're a glass artist, you actually have Jody all the time <laughs> to ask you questions, to see the courses. So it's, a, it's really a no-brainer. If you didn't get it, I don't, I don't get it. But if you play with resin, if you play with concrete, if you play with polymer clay, uh, even with other other mediums, you are going to love to to work with this, right? Mm -hmm. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the yellow one. That's one was one of the first ones, but I used the, I think it's the pearl. In this oh case. yes, I can tell. Yeah, it's beautiful. So we have a ton here for you. Can we can do. we scroll through all of them just so people can see? And it's not all because we we are messy people. We have. <laughs> We have things everywhere. We have things everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we have people everywhere. And as you look at all the pieces, remember, today is the special Mondo Market Day. We come every Thursday uh, live here on Facebook, on YouTube, and at mondomarkettv.com page. And that's the day we feature a product or a kit 
So a kit comes with several products and you can get at a lower price plus the bonuses. So it's that day that you save a lot and you can start a new passion, a new road ahead. Today is the Mica Madness. Three containers with Mica Flakes, medium, coarse and fine uh, of, of your choice. So you can choose between gold, silver and copper. Comes with two sheets of Mica and you saw that you peel that thing and you peel that thing. and you peel <laughs> It goes a very long way. Eight colors of Mica paint with the containers for only $49.95 plus the bonuses, the mica dots and the mini tweezer. This mini tweezer, by the way, I dare you go look online and you're going to see how much it costs. It's a super bonus here that you have only for $49.95. It's usually $65 and they don't, it doesn't come with the bonus. So you only have today. So this is the time you make your decision and get that. And then you share with your friends because I yes. think we... We had some good demos today, yes. right? And share with us. And share, share with your us. projects with us. We love that. Yes. Thank you so much You're for welcome. being here. Anytime. I have a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you enjoy the jokes. And, and I think I think I think it's fun. <laughs> so it I'm is fun. It. The jokes are terrible, but yes. that's okay. <laughs> yeah, with that said, this ends the this Mondo Market TV special. We are going to be back in two weeks because we are all going to take a break now to enjoy the holidays, right? Yes. And uh, the second week of January, our Mondo Market is about modes. <gasps> did you I forget? Did, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. That's why I did it. So we are going to be back talking about modes and what you can make with them. So I hope you have wonderful holidays. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the family. Enjoy the break. And I'll see you back here in two weeks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>